We was on the bottom, yeah. Now we headed to the top, new level. On my level, don't see anybody. I don't see him. This right here could never stop. This could never stop. Hey, this right here could never stop. Hold up, nah, nah. Hey, this right here could never stop. Hold up, nah, nah. Hey, this right here could never stop. Hold up, nah, nah. Hey, this right here could never stop. Hold up, nah, nah. One time, one time. Hey, I live on a job, right? Yeah, I'm always at work, right? Real people stay by me, right? Haters wanna do hurt, right? No, they tryna stop me, right? Drag my name through dirt, right? I'm feeding to the hate, right? I just answer with a smirk. Facts. I feel so your name was Junior? Junior, do, do, when you look at this sign right here, do you see any, any names that look familiar? As far as when, who you are? When, black? Is it the first one, African American? American black? Or do you come from Jamaica or the West Indies? Are you a so-called Haitian? You a so-called Haitian? Levi. So you know a little bit about that history? So you know you from the nation of Israel? Yes, yes, Moses was a Levite. Okay, okay, all praises. So you know you're an Israelite. How you know you're an Israelite? What proves that you are an Israelite? And can any and everybody be an Israelite? So on you, Junior. All right. So think about this, right? Go to Psalm chapter 83. Go to Psalm chapter 83. Let's read verse 1. Because Junior, right? You believe in your soul and your spirit. All right. Mm. Oh, so you just believe in something in a higher power? Everything, no, I believe higher power. I believe You believe in yourself, or do you? So, Junior, do you believe in God? You believe in God? Okay. He was the son of God. Uh -huh. Okay. I got you. Watch this. Give me, drop that. Give me Isaiah chapter 43 and verse 9. Isaiah chapter 43 and verse 9, if I'm not mistaken. Isaiah chapter 43 and verse 9. Let me see it. All right. Let me see. Isaiah 46.10. 46.10. Read that. Because I want you to know about this high power, this God, all right? Read that. The book of Isaiah chapter 46 and verse 10. Bring it out. Declaring the end from the beginning uh -huh. and from ancient times the things that are not yet done. So there's a God that declared the end from the beginning and things that happened before they even happened. He told you that it was going to happen. How did your ancestors get to Haiti? How did, were your ancestors always in Haiti or were your ancestors brought to Haiti? Huh? They were always there? All right, lift up the bottom of that sign. Breaking news. If your ancestors got off a of cargo slave ships, you are the children of Israel. That's right. God has it documented in the Holy Bible that the people who will get off of cargo slave ships will be the greatest people to ever walk this earth. They will be the sons of King David, the sons of Moses, the sons of Jeremiah, the sons of Ezekiel, the sons of Joseph. Breaking news, you are the real Jews. The so-called Haitian people are not Haitian. They descend from the tribe of Levi, from the nation of Israel. You so-called African-Americans, you're not African-American. You descend from the tribe of Judah, from the nation of Israel. You so-called Jamaicans, you're not Jamaican. You descend from the tribe of Benjamin, from the nation of Israel. How do we know? 
Go to Deuteronomy chapter 28 and read verse 15. Bring it up. God made a contract with the children of Israel. God said, if you keep my commandments, I will put you on high above all nations of this earth. Hey. But God also said, if you break my commandments, things are going to happen. We're about to read it. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Bring it out. But it shall come to pass. God says these things will happen in the future. Read. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, if you do not want to listen to your God, read. To observe, to do all his commandments. Junior, Junior, before you go, pay attention, Junior. Don't let the behind get you, bro. Don't let the behind get you. I thought you say you live off of spiritual, spirituality. You letting the behind get you. Read that. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. God says curses will happen to the children of Israel if they broke his commandments. Right. Let's get a commandment that our brothers are breaking right now. Give me first Timothy's, I mean on first Corinthians, chapter what? 316. First Timothy, uh, first Corinthians chapter three, verse 16. God says, if you break any of my commandments, curses will happen to you. Right. We're going to read this. We're going to read one of the commandments of God. Read that. This is the book of first Corinthians chapter three, verse 16. Read it Know ye not that ye are the temple of God. God says your body belongs to him. Your body is a temple that belonged to God. He made you. Read. And that the spirit of God dwelleth in you. Since you are a child of Israel, the spirit of God can dwell in you. Read. If any man defile the temple of God. How can you defile your temple? Defile means to destroy. What are ways that you can destroy your body? Yeah, what are ways that you can destroy your body? How's it going today, brother? Now, what? Give me one way. Yeah, maybe right here, man. Come, come, come talk with us, man. Follow the street, meaning doing drugs. All right, so the phone number's all there, man. Go to the website, give us a call. Okay, it could be going to club, doing drugs. You remember when you looked at that big booty sister and you wanted to go have sex with her? God says, God says that's one way you can defy your body. Yeah, because you're supposed to be married. Because watch this. Just a moment, Junior. You say, you say God says don't judge, right? Give me first, hold that. Give me first Corinthians chapter what? 2? 2, 2.15. First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 15, then we're going to go back to 3. Read that. You got to know that. The book of first Corinthians chapter 2, verse 15. But he that is spiritual judges all things. God says a spiritual man will judge all things. Right. What you're talking about that you say God, God says don't judge. You're talking about a Tupac song. Right. Only God can judge me. Right. Because thou shalt not judge is not in the Bible. Right. You understand that? Because the fifth book, because you got Genesis, right? You got Exodus. You got Leviticus. You got Numbers. You got Deuteronomy. You got Josh, Joshua. Then you got a whole book that called Judges, right. you can't judge right. because think about this, right? Why you didn't put on a dress this morning? Bring it out. Because you judge whether I wait. Am I a man or am I a woman? Right. You a man, so you're gonna put on what? A pants. Right. Because you judge from right and wrong. You know men should not put on dresses. Right. So you judge that matter. Look, look, no, you gotta understand that, right? That's how we be. Training like that. You know what I'm we can put that sign up. We're all training like that. What you mean we all train like that, Junior? Training like that. To put clothes on. So watch this, right? Give me give me Exodus chapter 22 and verse 15. Exodus chapter 22 verse 15. Let me not let me not rear off. Read that. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 22, verse 15. You know? But if the owner thereof verse 16. Exodus, the book of Exodus, chapter 22, verse 16. Bring it out. And if a man entice a babe that is not betrothed 
and lie with her. So God says, if you spit game to a woman, right? And she's not married to nobody. And you lay with that sister, you have sex with her. What does God say? Read. He shall surely endow her to be his wife. Are you a virgin? Yes or no? You're a virgin. So you never had sex before. So God says, because I want you to understand this. this. You're before God. So if you lie, you lie before God. You ain't lying before us. Understand that, right? So, all right. All right. So God says, God is letting you know if you're having sex, that woman's supposed to be your wife. Right. You understand? You're not supposed to go outside of that. But as you can see, our brothers are breaking that commandment. Because you probably know men that are having sex with women right now that are not married, right? So go back to Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. You don't. Because I'm married. Do you see a ring on my finger? Okay, that's what I'm saying. But just a moment, Junior. Because remember, the reason why your people were brought to Haiti on slave ships was because we broke God's commandments. Right. Read that. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So God says curses will happen to the children of Israel if we are breaking his commandments. Right. One of his commandments like thou shalt not kill. We're killing one another, right? So God says if we're breaking his commandments, we will suffer the curses of the book and what's written in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28. Right. Read verse 16. Verse 16. Curse shall thou be in the city. When you go to whatever city in America, are the Haitian people blessed or are they cursed in those cities? Julia, what up, yes or no? Because in the purchase over here, in Florida City, is this a good place to live? Bring it out. Yes or no? Everywhere is a good place to live. So everywhere is a good place to live. Wait, where do your next door neighbor sell drugs to kids? That's a good place to live? Where your brother gets shot down by the cops? That's a good place to live? Bring it out. We got to change Yes, that's what, but God says in order to change that, we must be keeping his commandments. One more time. Uh-huh. What, what, what did God, all right, Junior, Junior, what did Moses do? What did Moses do? Moses, Moses, Moses didn't fight nobody. Moses didn't throw no punches. Right. Moses didn't throw not one punch. Yeah, yeah Moses did. No, he didn't. God sent Moses. Let's get that. Let me help you out. Let me help you out. Let me help you out. Because what you talking about? You say revenge. Now, check this out. Exodus, Exodus chapter two. Exodus chapter two. Let's read verse 1. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 2 and verse 1. And there went a man of the house of Levi and took a wife, a daughter of Levi. And the woman conceived and bare a son. And when she saw him that he was a goodly child, she hid him three months. And when she could not, when she could no, excuse me, and when she could not, Longer hide him, she took for him an ark of brushes, bull rushes, and daubed it with slime and with pitch, and put the child therein, and she laid it in the flags by the river brink. And jump down to verse six. And when she had opened it, she saw the child, and behold, the babe wept, and she had compassion on him, and said, This is one of the Hebrews' children. So this is Moses when he was born. Watch this, so this Pharaoh's daughter find him, read. Then said the sister to Pharaoh's daughter, uh -huh. shall I go and call thee a nurse of the Hebrew women that she may nurse the child for thee? Jump down to his name. Verse 10. Verse 10, and the child grew, and she brought him unto Pharaoh's daughter, and he became her son, and she called his name 
Moses. They called his name what? Moses. So Moses was an Israelite. Right. Moses was raised in an Egyptian house as one of the as one of the princes of Egypt. Right. But he was an Israelite. Right. He was born from the tribe of Levi. Right. If Moses was walking the earth today, they would call him Haitian. Right. Right. You understand that? He's from the tribe of Levi. Now watch this. What did Moses do? Jump down to chapter 3. Chapter 3. Read verse 1. Do the Exodus chapter 3 and verse 1. Uh -huh. Now Moses kept the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, uh -huh. the priest of Midian. And he led the flock to the backside of the desert uh -huh. and came to the mountain of God. So pay attention to what's going to happen, Junior. Even to Horeb. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a flame of fire out of the midst of a brush, uh -huh. of a bush. And he looked, and behold, the bush burned with fire, and the bush was not consumed. And Moses said, I will now turn aside and see this great sight why the bush is not burnt. And when the Lord saw that he turned aside to see, God called unto him out of the midst of the bush and said. So this is what he's going to tell him. Jump to verse 10. Verse 10. Come now therefore, and I will send thee unto Pharaoh, that thou mayest bring forth my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. So when they sent Moses, Moses was to go to Egypt to take the children of Israel out of Egypt. Right. You're saying we're doing the same thing like Moses did, right? By going to go teach the people and bring them out of Egypt. You're right, because watch this. Go to Deuteronomy chapter 28, let's read verse 68. Let's get to the point. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. Bring it out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Lift up that sign. Lift up that sign at the bottom. God says, because of us breaking his commandments, we will go into Egypt again. When the children of Israel were in Egypt the first time, they were slaves. Right. God says you're going to go into slavery again with ships right. that happened to the blacks, that happened to the Hispanics, that happened to the Native Americans. Right. God says these things will only happen to the children of Israel right. because the blacks, the African Americans, went into slavery on slave ships. Right. The so-called Jamaicans went into slavery on slave ships. Right. The so-called Haitians went into slavery on slave ships. Right. The Mexicans, the Puerto Ricans, the Cubans, the Native Americans, because watch this. Did the Chinese man ever go into slavery on slave ships? No, nah, I don't have no money. Now, nah, because watch this. Give me Sirach chapter 40. Give me Sirach chapter 40. Sirach chapter 40, and go on uh, the last verse, the last two verses. I want you to understand something, because you're a son of God. God holds you up to a high status. What's your name? Marquise? And hey, what's your name, brother? Come over here. What's your name? Juan Junior Marquise. What's your name? Johnson? Mil Nelson? Mason. Let me see that. 40? Yeah, watch this. Read verse 28. This is what God says about the men of Israel. Put this sign down. Because I want you all to understand something. Because it's rampant in our neighborhood. Because, remember, America was designed to keep the black man at the bottom. Watch this. Read that. This is what God says about the black, Hispanic, and Native American man. Read. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 40, and verse 28. Uh -huh. Bring it out! My son! God says, first and foremost, you are his son. Right. Everybody on this earth are not a son of God. You have to be born from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob to be considered a son of God when you read Romans chapter 9. Right. Read. My son, lead not a beggar's life. You hear that? He says, don't live a beggar's life. Right. Read. For better it is to die than to beg. God says it's better to die than to beg any man. Right. Why? Read. The life of him that dependeth on another man's table is not to be counted for a life. God says if you have to live by another man's table, you have to live out off another man's income, he says your life is not worth living. Right. Because do you feel like living this life that you're living right now? You don't, right? Because you have to go ask another man when do you want to eat. 
God says that's not a life that you should be living as one of his sons. Right. You understand that? Cut, watch this, continue reading. For he polluted himself with another man's feet. Because as long as you have to beg for money, you have to depend on that man so when you when it's time for you to eat. But if you work for a living, you can pay for yourself to eat. Right, you understand right. what I'm saying? Because think about it. If nobody gives you a dollar for three days, four days straight, you're going to have to go ask somebody for that money. You, As long as you continue asking somebody for money, you are begging. But who do you have to ask? Who do you have to ask? You have to ask God for those things. Because watch this, but God says, watch this. Give me Romans, I mean John chapter 9 verse 31. I got you. Right, but did he just help anybody? Bring it out. Did Jesus Christ help anybody? He only helped those that kept the commandments. Those that wanted to repent. I got you, watch this, it's gonna explain it. It's gonna, I got you, it's gonna explain this, watch this. Read this. This is the book of John, chapter 9, verse 31. Read it you gotta ask God for help, right? Watch this, read. Now we know that God is sinner, he cannot hear you. Right. Read it again. Now we know that God heareth not sinner. What is a sinner? In order for you to be a sinner, you have to be committing sin. So what is sin? Because if you commit sin, God is not hearing your prayer. Right. Let's take that. First John chapter 3 and verse 4. Bring it on. Because you gotta understand what sin is. Because if you are committing sin, God is not gonna hear you when you're in need of something. Right. Read that. The book of first John, chapter 3 and verse 4. Uh -huh. Bring it up. Whosoever committeth sin, whoever commits sin, read, transgresseth also the law. So if you're killing, if you're stealing, that's breaking God's laws. Right. If you're smoking weed, smoking black mouth, you're defiling your temple. If right. you're eating pork, crab, shrimp, lobster, that goes into unclean food you're not supposed to eat. Right. God says you are in sin. Right. So if you are in sin, that makes you a sinner, and God is not hearing your prayer. Bring it out. Read it again, John chapter 9, verse 31. Understand, what you're rebuttaling is what the pastor told you. Right. It's not what the word of God says. Take Let's read up. it again. It's the book of John, chapter 9, verse 31. Bring read. it out. Now we know that God heareth not sinners. Read. But if any man be a worshiper of God and doth his will, him he hear it. So God says you have to do his will in order for him to hear your prayers. Right. So what is the will of God? Because we know if you are a sinner, you are breaking the laws of God, which makes God doesn't hear your prayers. So what is the will of God in order for him to hear you? Wow, why God Let's read that. that. Okay, why, this is the book of... Why that for us? Why that for us? I got you. I'm, I'm going to show you that. Okay, I'm going to show you. Just a moment. Read it. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 40 and verse 8. Bring it on. I delight to do thy will, O oh my God. Yea, thy law is within my heart. So the will of God is his law. Right. That's the only way he's going to be able to hear you. Right. Now, Junior, you said, didn't Christ die for us? We don't have to keep the laws no more. You got goals. You got goals. You ain't supposed to have goals. Luke. No. The Arabs, the Arabs are Ishmael. Right. Those, those, that's Islam. They're Muslims. They take, that, that, that religion comes from Arab. Why would a black man that was enslaved by the Arabs go and bow down to an Arab God? Just like in Christianity, you bow down to this image. The image of the white man's God. But this is not Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ was a black man according to the Bible. He looked just like you. And what really he had, the same beard that you had on your face? Because watch this, right? Give me Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. Bring it out! You're keeping a commandment right now that you don't even know that you're keeping. Because watch this. This is what God says that a black, Hispanic, and Native American man must have on his face. Watch this. Read that. This is the book of Leviticus chapter 21 verse 5. Bring it out! They shall not make baldness upon their head. Uh -huh. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. God says you're not supposed to shave off the hairs of the corners of your beard. You can, you can get a tape, but you're not supposed to get that thin line. 
You see this, I, this all I can grow. So I let it grow. I can trim it, but I can't completely take it off my face. Right. But you see over here, you're shaving your beard, right? So God says you're in sin. You are a sinner. It's something as small as that, that we could be underneath the curses of God, making us have to beg for money. But right. God is not hearing right. our prayers to make us right. get through that, that circumstance. Yeah, if you're sick, you're transgressing. What you mean by putting clothes on is the same thing? Okay, so everything makes my name. Okay, but what, what that has to do with sin? Sin is the breaking of God's commandments. Right. In order for you to know what sin is, you have to know what? God's commandments. Right. Because watch this, right? That's what I'm saying. Everything like control. All right, check this out. You said you said your name was Malik. You said your name was Malik. Marquise, Marquise. He says the Bible was made up, right? They said everybody in the Bible was right. White, right? Watch this. Give me Job chapter 30, verse 30. Bring it out! Watch this. Job chapter 30, verse 30. Because what he been taught, oh, the Bible is a lie. The Bible is a white man's book. Oh, that Bible ain't a lie. You just said that a man wrote that it. You just said that. Man. So is it true or is it? A lot of things in the Bible is true. So is it fake or is it true? Is it true? So it's not fake. So why is it true? And listen, brother. Is it true or is it fake? It can't be true and fake. Brother, is it true or is it fake? Brother, you, 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 you see how he's running around? He's never given the answer. Let's read this. This is the book of Job, chapter 30 and verse 30. My skin is black upon thee. This is in the Holy Bible. Job is telling you that his skin is black upon him. Give me songs of Solomon. Solomon came from the tribe of Judah. So who's you? Huh? Who's you? I come from the tribe of Levi. We're so right. called Haitian. We're brothers because think about this. Because watch this. Your ancestors got off of slave ships, right? My ancestors got off of slave ships. You know why I speak Creole? It's because my slave masters were French. You understand that? Our slave masters were the French. That's why we speak Creole. The French, that's why we speak Creole. Same thing with you, your, your slave masters were British. That's why you speak English. You understand that, right? The British spoke English. That's why we speak two different languages. You, 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 you understand? That's why, think about this, right? You was raised in Florida City? You was raised in Florida City? These two been fighting each other their whole lives, haven't they? The so-called African-Americans and Haitians, but they're brothers. Imagine if we would never would have fought and would have came together. You understand that? What, how would our communities be? Would it be better or would it be worse? Teach them up. If we would have came together and never fought and would have helped each other, love each other like we loved ourselves, this community would have, because think about it, majority of the killings in Florida City is between who? The African Americans and Haitians. I thought it was Levi. Yeah, but I'm saying today is for, uh, for, in order for people to know what I'm talking about, I have to use their modern name. Right. Because that's Judah and Levi. But in order for you to understand who they are, I have to call them by these things. Right. You understand? Let me, let me, let me, let me talk. Let me talk. How would you get your hand up? You said what? How would you get your hand up? How would I know who the African Americans? How many people had to get killed? How many people had to get killed for this Bible? A lot of our brothers and sisters died. Remember, Jesus Christ had to die in order for us to have this word in the last day. Right. You understand it? Huh? For this one Bible? For this one Bible. So yes. How many stories got in? It has, if you remember, the Bible is a compilation of books. So watch this, right? Because I wanted, I want you to see something. Give me uh, Psalms chapter 68 and verse 11. Bring it out. That's it. Psalms chapter 68 verse 11. Because the Bible was written by your ancestors. Right. Your ancestors wrote something down. My ancestors wrote something down. Right. His ancestor wrote something down. Right. They all came from the same family throughout years. And they, those books were collected. Now the men who wrote it were the ones that were getting the message directly from God. Because watch this. Psalms chapter 68 and verse 11. This is the book of Psalms chapter 68 and verse 11. Bring it out! The Lord gave the word. So God spoke to men. And man got, said those words that God told him to say. Read. Great was the company of those that published it. So God would tell me to do something. 
I would do it and I will write it down on what God told me to do. Right. Right. Same thing from the beginning to the end. Right. Just like when you read the book of John. That was John writing what happened. You understand? Matthews. Matthews wrote what happened. Right. Isaiah wrote what happened. Right. Jeremiah wrote what happened. Right. The first five books, Moses wrote what happened from the time of Adam all the way to the time that he got out of Egypt. Right. You understand? Right. And what would happen to the children until they got to the promised land. And then Joshua took over. And they wrote everything that happened to them of what happened to our ancestors back then during the biblical times. You understand? Right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission, minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.